Hey guys, it's Icy and what's up? So as per my last video, as if anyone watches this aside from my mom, hi mama, I got into the Archer and Olive design team. And how I absolutely don't know, but you can watch my little audition video somewhere here or there. A little backstory on applying for the Archer and Olive design team. Like I've been mentioning in my social media accounts, I have been bullet journaling for a while now and ever since discovering Archer and Olive on Instagram and trying out their notebooks, I have never... I don't even have word for the experience that using their journals have brought me. So fast forward to a few years after that, they announced that they're actually looking for design team members and that everyone is encouraged to apply. The first time I saw that, I was just like, hmm, that's very nice. Probably won't get into that, so I probably wouldn't put an application in. And then I saw it again, they've sent out this email about looking for design team members and I was just like, hmm, maybe. And then I saw it again, and I was just like, oh, maybe I should go for it. I don't know, I, I might regret this later on if I don't do it. I went to the application site page, and then I read everything, the requirements, what is expected of a design team members, the perks and everything, and I was just like, oh, girl. She'd already done had hearses. I don't even know what that means. But anyway, and then I thought, okay, let's try to apply. Let's try to get application stuff started. And then I started filling out the application page. I shot my little audition tape. I also made this little page that has photos of my bullet journal because that way they won't have to dig through my Instagram. And then I submitted the application and I was just like, yeah, if I get it, great. If I don't, at least they'll know I'm obsessed about them. I wasn't really expecting anything because I didn't want to get disappointed, I didn't want to get hurt. I just thought, okay, I will apply for this because I know that I will regret it, I know that I will keep thinking about it. What if I applied? What if I got in? What if I, you know, stuff like that. A few weeks later, I get this email that says, oh, you are one of the shortlisted applicants and you'll hear from us in a few days or something. And I was like, oh. She already don't hand hearses. I don't know the exact time frame, but I think a week after that, I get this email requesting to be in the meeting. So the day of my meeting was actually the day after the scheduled day where in the design team members would have already been notified, but I didn't get like a notification. So I was just like, bitch, what is happening, bitch? I get on the call at 5.30 in the morning here and I meet the design team leads and then we just have this little chat and ask if I have any questions and then towards the end of the video they're like, oh how would you like to be part of the design team? So girl, I did not even know how to react and it was like 6 o'clock in the morning and I was just like, really? So everything was just like, everything just felt like it was a dream so that is like a prime example of just going for something that you want if you don't get it at least you know that you tried instead of like not doing it and then later down the road you keep wondering what could have happened but yes girl mama honey i am h e a r here and i just got my welcome pack i've opened the box but i haven't actually looked at the contents yet It is right here. <laughs> Sorry, I make weird noises when I'm excited. Look at this wrapping paper. I want to vomit. I don't even know where to start. Look at the bubble wrap. You know that meme with a cat and the cat looks like this and it says heavy breathing. So that is me right now. I don't know where to start. First thing that I see right now are these really cute acrylic stamps. I have never used stamps before, but look at these ones. Aren't they cute? Wait, wait, wait. It's a notebook. I really don't want to take it out of the plastic packaging because it... No. I've never actually tried anything other than A5. And this is like a B6 notebook. It has like a little raven. I think it's a raven. So I'm not really familiar with the sizes, but it's definitely smaller than A5. You don't say. We haven't even gone through anything yet and I'm already hyperventilating. Girl! 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 I hope I don't stab myself with this. 
y'all don't see me on social media anymore. You know what happened. It's so beautiful. I wish I could show this to you, but um, um, <laughs> it's so beautiful. I'm. There's more. A sketchbook. I remember when I was in the call with Nicola Ariel and Haley, the design team lead members. They were like, oh, are you ready to get a lot of stuff? Do you have a lot of space for stuff? And honestly, yes, I know that there was going to be stuff being sent to me, but I didn't expect this much. I did see on the design team um, application website that, that we will be getting releases ahead of time. But girl! Girl, I personally only keep like one journal at a time, which is why I try to stop myself from buying too many because girl, I don't know what to use them for. But like when I was waiting for these to arrive, I was already thinking, oh, maybe I should use one to practice my composition, one to practice my illustrations, one to, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Look at that beautiful box. So the boxes are just. I, I really don't have words. I cannot verbalize my very first sketchbook. I love the craft boxes and I love the white florals and the gold on the boxes. So pretty. Girl! Okay. I, I can do this. <gasps> Wait. There's just too much stuff. Okay. I can do this. As a cat. I love cats. I know that there are cat people and dog people, but there are some people who really hate on cat people. I'm like, girl, what is your problem? I mean, Bonnie has like four cats. What is this? I'm not quite sure what this is. Let us analyze the specimen. It's beautiful. Traveler's notebook. Like I mentioned earlier, I've only ever used A5, but right now I am using a square notebook and there's just so much space and I haven't actually tried using a traveler's notebook, but girl, this is the first time for everything, girl. And it has a dog. Why is everything so beautiful? Why you do this? So I have used a Neapolitan notebook in the past and I loved it because it gives me the opportunity to play around with black craft and white paper. And aside from the thick paper where you can use like different art supplies basically. Watercolor, paint pens. And I was thinking of getting another Neapolitan notebook. But... So beautiful. Look at that shade of red. Girl. Girl. I need a brown bag. Can you hear my wrist bones? <laughs> Another square notebook. Yes, honey. I think I'm gonna take this opportunity to use the different notebooks for different things that I wanna do. I've always wanted to do watercolor. I've always wanted to improve on my illustration, move outside of the floral illustration spectrum and do other illustration stuff. Like lately, I've been into drawing skulls. And I kind of want to practice my human anatomy drawings. That is something that I can use these notebooks and sketchbooks for. Oh my lord, Pippa's art, girl. I don't know who Pippa is, but look at that, holographic stuff, wow. I think that concludes all of the notebooks. I'm beyond happy with everything. Again, I only use one, but there's just so many ideas right now. Girl, I don't even have a lot of time to do stuff, but <gasps> I'm excited. Before I actually uh, move on to the, the acrylograph and calligraph pens, there is a lot here. I think I have like every palette that Archer and Olive has. I was actually waiting for the welcome pack to arrive before I actually bought stuff. I was not expecting like everything to be shipped out like this. Okay. Okay. You ready? Because I'm not ready. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there's another notebook. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Girl. It looks like a wedding guest book. 
I don't know what size this is, so I'm really illiterate when it comes to notebook sizes. But this is probably A4 size, like an A4 size paper, I believe. And again, I've always wanted to try different size notebooks, but definitely bigger because I need a lot of space when I write in my journals. Girl, mama need to breathe. Let's see the calligraph. You know what this feels like? This would be the equivalent of a drag queen opening up a box of wigs and makeup. So I have been tracking this box like crazy. I would check like every five minutes, literally. I took the day off work today because I had a workshop, which was lucky because I wouldn't be able to function properly at work knowing that the box is sitting at home waiting to be opened. So let's start with the calligraph pens from the Tropical Selection. Can't wait to try these. I love that they're called calligraph pens. Genius and I love the colors and I bet these would look good on my current journal because I'm using white pages. Um, <laughs> So the next box of calligraph pens are of the jewel selection. I can't handle this. I miscounted. I was gonna say there's eight in each box, but there's actually ten. So that's like twenty. 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 Girl, twenty. Two zero. I'm definitely gonna do a swatch. <laughs> if only you can see. Girl, look at that. That's what I'm looking at right now. I need a minute, but I don't want to stop. Girl. Girl. Girl, 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 girl. I didn't even get to count them because I am just completely speechless by the amount of acrylograph pins. Girl. The sets that I got were... I think I got all of them. I don't know all of the acrylograph selections at the top of my head, but now I have the jewel selection. The primary selection, warm fall selection, cool fall selection, vernal pack selection, there's more, awakening pack selection, spellbind collection, bewitch collection, girl, eight sets. I have 80, 80, 80 new acrylograph pens. Mother! Okay, we have one box left. So, girl. I think this is my most favorite one. So lately I've been playing around with a lot of metallic ink, metallic watercolors, metallic gel pens, metallic everything. Look at that, the box itself. Mama. I really need to pee right now. I remember when I got my first acrylograph set, I replied to, to Bonnie's stories. I was like, oh, you know what? I would like to see metallic acrylograph pens. <laughs> oh, girl, they here. They here. They here. They here. <laughs> Ooh, my water just broke. What I love about Archer and Olive is that the packaging is perfect and even the stuff inside is perfect like when you open the metallics box even this instructions for use is like perfection unbelievable insane crazy <sighs> this would have to be my favorite out of everything but I love everything in the box ooh girl mama honey I remember when I was looking through the application, I didn't even really pay attention to the perks. I honestly just wanted to be a part of something that I believe in so much. And it's just amazing to be a part of Archer and Olive. It just gives me a lot to look forward to. And in the process, I've gained 14 plus Nicola, Ariel, and Haley. 14 plus 3. 17 new friends in the process. So we were told about the outcomes on I think late September. Girl, I want to post it already, but they're like, nah, not yet. You can post when, you know, we announce it. I was like, mm. like just being part of it was enough, more than enough, beyond sufficient already. And when they announced it, my Instagram was like, just 
it exploded. I mean, I didn't even like think about stuff like that. I didn't even think about the amount of followers that I would gain. I sincerely, genuinely just want to be part of something that I believe in so much. I'm so happy to be part of the design team. There's just so much to learn from everyone on the team. Everyone just has like their own different thing going on and that's what's amazing about being in a team in a community with people who have a diverse range of aesthetics. So yeah, so if you're waiting for a sign to do something, I what are you waiting for? I guess what I want you to take away from all this is that it is really up to you to live the life that you want, to live your dreams, to chase after everything you want because who else is gonna make things happen aside from yourself, right? Life is short and time goes by really quick and girl, just go for it. Boy, girl, boy, dude, bro, homie. If anyone is watching this, please let me know in the comments below what stuff you want me to do aside from swatches. That's the number one thing I'm gonna do. Girl, I've always wondered what it would feel like to be a brand affiliate. Not only am I an affiliate, but I am also part of the design team. So a question that I usually get a lot since the design team member announcement was that what does it mean being part of the design team? So being part of the design team means you contribute your creativity to content like the Archer and Olive blog videos, um, printable, so you see a lot of that from us. And also we get to promote all of the beautiful things that Archer and Olive has to offer. So as an affiliate, please feel free to purchase all of these using my affiliate code ICstudio10. Upon checkout, you can use the link below to do that and I get a commission every time my link is used. And thank you so much for your support. Be honest, I just love being here. And representing Archer and Olive. Girl, cause girl. Bye.